Hi everyone, in this video we will take a look at histograms by category variable in Stata. For reference, we are using the aggregated dataset as shown in the first video of this playlist. So let's get started. The basic command is histogram followed by the variable name and then comma. And then within the by, we are going to give whatever category variable that we would like to create the histograms for. I have also specified a total here. So this is going to generate another histogram where it takes all of the category together. So let's take a look at what happens when we run this command. We get this histogram, which is pretty default and pretty basic. Uh, one thing to notice is that we have these labels uh, or the categories on, at the top. We have the x-axis and y-axis takes here. We have some kind of node that comes at the bottom. So we will take a look at how we can customize each of these elements. In the second line here, what I've done is I've used the compact style. So what this does is it makes the graphs come closer and it's relatively compact compared to the first one. The category labels are actually subtitles. So in this graph object, these labels are actually treated as subtitles in Stata. And so if we would like to switch them on or switch them off, then we would have to do it invoking the subtitle command or the subtitle option within the command of histogram. So here we can see that I have specified subtitle and then I've given nothing within it. And when I run this and name this graph G3, what it does is it removes the subtitles. Fine, so let's see what we can do more. We can also change the subtitle placements and move the identifying label inside individual graphs. So by default, the subtitles are placed outside the graphs. And let's say we would like to move it somewhere within the graph. And we would also like to change its size as well. So here, what I'm doing is I'm placing the subtitle and I'm not specifying nothing like this in the previous command. So this is going to give the subtitles according to the name of the categories. And then I'm specifying a position, ring zero, position 11. And then this, uh, this little bit, no B expand. And what it does is it brings the subtitles to the leftmost corner uh, at the top. So let's take a look at how we can select the position here. So ring zero, this moves the subtitle inside the graphs plot region. And then position and 11 here. So position defines the location, which is indicated as clock positions. So if we want it here, we'd be giving 12. If we want it here, we'd be giving six and so on and so forth. And no B expand is just one of those words that you need to include within your command for it to work within Stata. All right. So now we can see that Stata by default puts all of these graphs together. And then it also puts all of their X axis and Y axis together and say we want to create something that looks like this, where each graph has its own X and Y axis labels. So we can do that by specifying the this bit, Y rescale and X rescale, and we need to do it within the by, by command. And so this generates this, this graph. Now let's say we want to display the legend here. So by default, the legend is switched off, but we can switch it on by specifying legend on within the parentheses of the by option. Now let's say uh, we would like to turn off this little bit of note that comes up. So this is basically a note. So we can invoke the note command and we can specify that we don't want any note within this to so nothing. So all of this goes inside the by sub option. And what it does is it, sh it gets rid of the notes. So now we have learned to customize uh, these little bits of elements within the histogram. So now let's make an uh, overall nice plot. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the subtitle box disappear. So there won't be any box around the subtitle. And we're going to make the text a little bit smaller. And we're to, we are going to change the color of the bars and their bar width. So let's take a look at the final product. The final product is going to look like this. We don't have any boxes. We have small little labels and the bar colors are different. So what we are doing here is we are keeping everything else same as before. Here we are specifying no box and we're specifying size small. And all of this is going within the subtitle command. So this makes the subtitle ring a zero position 11, no B expand and no box and size small. And then we are specifying color blue and opacity 50%. So this is what makes 50% uh, opaque blue colors for the bars. And we are also specifying the bar white to be 0.09. And remember, this bar white takes its input in the units of the x-axis. All right, then make another one where we are basically making the subtitle size medium. And we are also changing the color of the subtitle font. 
so something that's this so what we are doing here is when we are invoking the by so right after the by when we start the subtitle we say that the size is medium instead of the small one here and we also specify a color option within the subtitle option and we also have the uh, other color option outside the subtitle which is applicable for the bars finally let's create a histogram for black and white giving fill color blue fill color to black gray fill color to white we are also going to specify that we have 10 bins and we are label we are going to label them and give uh, different line colors so in this case i'm going to use a two way command here so two way the first graph object is going to be one histogram where i specify that race equals to 2 bin is equals to 10 the fill color is going to be gray and line color is going to be red in the second graph object it's going to be another histogram where race equals to 2 bin 10 fill color is blue and line color is purple and we are giving the labels white and black and this is how it's going to look when it operates and this gives us a good idea of how to generate different kinds of histograms when we have to do it over several categories if you like my videos and find them helpful then please support my work by subscribing to the channel